the DV framework is now on version 5.1.5. So there's an update which was really bothering a lot of you out there. And let me show you what it was in case you might have missed it. So let's say you try to go in and uh, let's say work on a module. You notice here that we have this search bar which is on top of all this information here. So there's no way really of getting rid of that. And this was really causing a lot of problems. I mean, as you can see here, it is really, really, you know, an issue. So this has been resolved and let me show you now how this is gonna look like. So I'm just gonna close out of here. So now when you go into any module, you notice now everything now is pretty much okay. There's nothing distracting you as you're designing your site. Now, while we're on this, there's also an update that I made, which I realized that is also very important. So sometimes as you're designing, you, you'll see that this row has space, has this padding on the top and the bottom. Now, sometimes this can be a problem if you're designing your websites because then you won't have accuracy in terms of the spacing here. So let's give this a background so I can show you what I mean. So let's say I come over here and give this a, a background. We're gonna go with something very light here so we can just see the backgrounds, okay? So let's go with that. We're also going to do the same here. We're going to give this a background as well. So let's just bring it all the way down here to about there. Okay, so now we can see our two rows. So the issue now is, let's say you wanted, you know, proper spacing between this row and that row. Normally, you would just go in here and say, okay, we want our class here of margin top to be, let's say, for example, medium, okay? So you can see here I've added my medium, but the issue is you can see we still have padding in here. So it doesn't seem like our padding here is much because we have, I mean, it doesn't seem like our margin here is much because we have padding both on this row and the row below. So I thought about this and I came up with another shortcut here that we can use. And pretty much all you have to add in here is no padding, okay? So if you say no dash padding, this is our new class now, which just removes the padding altogether. And I'm just gonna copy that and then come to the bottom here and do the same. I'm gonna come over here to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and then I'm just gonna add this one here as well. So now you can see that things are much cleaner and things are looking great. Okay, now there's a question that I got and I might as well address this anyways, because people were asking me, why can't we use our normal padding that we get when we just add it in the builder itself? And instead of explaining, I wanna show you the big difference here. So I wanna go back now to my row and I'm gonna to go to advanced, and then I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna add padding medium, okay. Now you notice that we have padding around our, our content. In fact, let's make it large like that. Okay, so now this is much more visible and we can really see what is going on. All right, great, so I'm just gonna save this. And then I'm gonna to come to the bottom here and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna add some padding, but this time I wanna do it manually, okay? So I'm gonna go now to my spacing and for my padding, I'm going to start with, let's say 40 pixels, okay? I know we're still far, so let's try 50. I think that's about right, okay? So I'm gonna add 50 to all the sides. I'm gonna copy that and then paste it here on the left. And now we have equal padding. In fact, I may need to go a bit more Let's go 60. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I think we are just about 60 is just about right. Okay, there we go. All right. So you can see now I have padding here, which is similar to what we have here on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And what I'm going to do now is to exit the Visual Builder, save and exit. So now when we shrink our screen size here, notice what happens. My padding on the top is responsive, which means it's it's adjusting as I'm going through this. So you, you can see now that looks much neater. And on the bottom here, it is not responsive. Do you see that? So this is the issue that we have. So one way to resolve this is to then go into the builder and then you're gonna start adding different to different, I mean, different screen sizes and adjust the sizes. Now, as you can imagine, as you're designing your website, you are going to be doing this to each and every, say, row in order for you to achieve this consistency. But if you use a SiteCrafter, all you have to do is just to add 
the class and pretty much you're good to go. At any point, if you decide, oh, you know what? I want to go back in. This padding is a bit too much, right? You want to make it a bit smaller. All you have to do is to come in here, go to advanced, and then you want to come over here to classes. So instead of large, you can just change this to medium like that. Now, when it's time now to, let's say, you've done it manually and you want to change things here, guess what? You would have to go in here and do this each and every row that you've adjusted and there'll be a lot of clicking because remember, you have to come in here and then you want to go to our spacing here and then you want to reduce this. Let's say we're going to go with 40. So let's say that's the size. We're going to change this to 40 as well. Now, let's say you have quite a few rows on your website. You can imagine how much crazy this is going to be. Now, another thing also that I want to remind you about is, and I'm just talking about padding so far, but this can apply to so many areas. So let's say you want to change the responsive size here and you want this to apply across the whole website. Well, there's only one place to go and make these changes and that's to go into your CSS file. And let me show you where that is. Okay, so I'm just going to exit here and save and exit. So to make your changes, you want to come over here, go to your dashboard, and then you go to Divi and go to theme options. So this is where you would go in and make those changes. So for the padding, for the padding, you would go in and make your change. And whatever change you make here is going to be applied across the whole website. But I do want to emphasize this. Do not really mess around with this if you're not very well versed with CSS. But what you could also do is maybe copy it, paste it somewhere safe, make your changes if you're happy with that, and then pretty much you are good to go. So uh, it's available for download. I will be emailing you regarding this with also the download link so you can have the latest version. At the same time, I'm going to have this in Divi University. Now, if you haven't signed up for Divi University, I'll highly recommend you go ahead and do that because Divi University is a community for web designers that use Divi. So you can just go ahead, join today, and pretty much you're going to be added onto the community. Now, I also want to show you where everything is. I'm just going to go to the community here. And for the community here, if you go to spaces, now, if you purchase this, you're going to be added to Side Crafters. So over here on Side Crafters, you can see this is where you download the latest version right here in the top left. You see that? And then this is the documentation as well. Okay. So everything is very, very clear. You just, you just go into the community Side Crafters and then go ahead and download it there. All right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't purchased a Side Crafter, I would highly recommend you go and do so. I've done quite a few videos on Side Crafter framework, and this is, I mean, the only Divi framework out there that enables you to design websites that are consistent, scalable, and also very, very easy to use because this process helps you design your websites faster. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.